The first federal execution in nearly two decades is happening today just west of Indianapolis at the Terre Haute Correctional Facility in Terre Haute. Lauren? And that's where our Alyssa Donovan is joining us live this morning. Alyssa, this execution is actually a long time coming. Tell us more about it. That's right, Lauren, and the man who will be put to death today by lethal injection is Daniel Lewis Lee. Lee was convicted back in 1996 in Arkansas after killing three people in the same family. Now, members of that family or victims, family members rather, say that they are frustrated at the timing of this execution. Family members of the victims of 47-year-old Daniel Lewis Lee sued the Justice Department, arguing they could not safely travel to witness the execution due to the coronavirus pandemic. Execution plans were suspended late Friday, but the U.S. Court of Appeals put it back on track. Lee will be put to death at 4 this afternoon. We've been asking for this all along, but then to do this right now when it is so unsafe, feels like a slap in the face to our family. Lee is one of four executions scheduled at the Terre Haute Federal Corrections Complex. Two other men are set to be put to death this week. Another execution is scheduled for August. And representatives with the Bureau of Prisons say that anyone coming to witness the execution today will have their temperatures checked. They will also have to wear face masks. However, family members of those victims say they were also told they will not be able to social distance while inside the facility. Reporting live, Alyssa Donovan, RTV6.